Firstly, can I say uh, thank you for the very warm welcome uh, that we've had at this wonderful school uh, from the principal, from teachers, but most importantly uh, from the young students here. I think uh, Livy has got a future career as an advancer in the way that she took everyone through <laughs> uh, what was a, a very difficult circumstance uh, out there uh, th this morning, but it was, uh, it was very heartening to see. Uh, I'm joined today by uh, former Prime Minister Julie Gillard, the, <laughs> as you do, the bells are tolling once again for the Morrison government. Uh, Premier Peter Malinowskis and uh, members of my team, Mark Butler, Amanda Rishworth, uh, Penny Wong and Don Farrell, but importantly as well, uh, who I hope to be a future member of my team, Louise Miller-Frost, our, our candidate uh, here in Boothby. Uh, we're going to hear from uh, the former Prime Minister, uh, then the Premier, then myself, and I'll be happy to take questions. Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. As you know, I don't do this much anymore. In fact, I <laughs> never do it anymore, uh, but I've made a particular exception today. And the reason I've done that is because I wanted to come and support my friend Albo. Uh, Albo and I might look really young, but the <laughs> truth is that we've known each other for more than 40 years, right back to when we were university students. And with the authority that the more than 40 years of friendship gives me, I can certainly say the following about Albo. He's ready to be Prime Minister. He will be a great Prime Minister. And I've got a particular message for Australian women. Having served as the only woman to hold the job as Prime Minister, you would know in the years since that I've made my focus women's leadership. It's amongst one of the biggest things that I do. And what I want to see for this country is a government that cares about, values and includes women. And I know that a government led by Albo will do precisely that. So for Australian women, if you want to make a better choice, please tomorrow go to your ballot pl places, go to your polling stations and vote Labor and vote for Albo to be Prime Minister. I am very confident it will be a government for women. And the last thing I'd like to say is I grew up in Boothby. I live in Boothby. My life has come full circle from when I was a school student here to living here now in my post-political years. I get a postal vote. I've already proudly voted for Louise. So can I call on the people of Boothby to do exactly the same thing? Thank you very much.